Hello. I know I'm very close today, but um, welcome back to my floor. And by floor, I do my right now kitchen. Um, today, for most of the video, you're actually going to watch stuff I recorded like three days ago. Uh, and I'm just going to talk. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's just get into it. Enjoy watching me um, repot a plant. Um, yeah. So, I just, I, ugh, life is horrible. Also, I'm going to be painting my nails if you hear anything weird going on. Um, I just, life is not fun anymore <laughs> in the way of just, like, my job. Um, I literally just found out before I started filming this that the one shift I had been scheduled for all week. I got removed from which is just like aggravating and then on top of that like I'm actively looking for a new job and it's just like the issue is because I want to work in luxury fashion even as like a salesperson right you have to know like 27 people at a company to be able to get hired which is just like puts me at a severe disadvantage because I know nobody at most of these companies but it's just it's also just like, if you don't apply within the first 20 people most of the times, they're not going to look at your application because they can normally find somebody in those first 20 people or through recommendations of staff that like covers what they need, right? So it's just kind of like, you got to be so quick. And I've applied to like probably a good 70 jobs since November. And it's just like, you get through the interview process of one only to find out you didn't get it and it's just kind of aggravating because it's like at least personally for me while that's happening i don't want to apply to 700 other jobs just in case i get it because then i have to like go through and if anyone else wants to interview me it's like you got to reject so many interviews which feels like a waste of time at that point but it is what it is and like for me there's also the added level of like if i want to be able to stay in the country after two years from now, basically, I have to find a job that'll pay me not only 30 grand a year, but also I have to find a job that's like, then I'd be willing to be my sponsor. So like, that's the big fun stress in my life right now, which is um, really annoying, um, especially the fact that they just keep removing shifts out from under me at work. Yeah, more positive things. I've moved. I'm in a very good space now. Uh, I only have one other roommate, and I get not only a kitchen table, which is where I am today, but I also now get a living room, which is fun. So, um, I am currently struggling trying to figure out how I want my bedroom to look, hanging everything up, so it might be a while before we're in there. Um, we might film in the living room for a bit. Who knows? Who knows? Um... Yeah, but I'm hoping I can stay here at least a year and I don't have to move again. Because uh, I like the spot. I like the girl I live with. Like, it's just, there's a lot of really nice things about it. It's just that thing of, like, I don't want to have to move again. Uh, but yeah, no. It's, it's really fun to sit around all day and just basically be stressed out about how you're going to make money. Um, so that's fun. But I'm working on it, so it'll be fine. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I feel like I really have no big life things. It's just a lot of apply to job. Don't. Because the most annoying thing about these job applications is that um, if they don't want you, most of the times they just won't contact you at all. Which is like even more annoying. Because it's just like... Why would you do this then? Like, just send me... I know most of you have automated emails that just say, we've decided to go with a different thing. A different person for whatever. And it's just like, just, just say that. Just say that. So. Yeah, I don't know. It would... It'd just be nice to know. Um, but yeah. It is what it is. Life is fun. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here because obviously lifestyle stuff is not interesting enough to me to keep doing it. I don't have the bandwidth to be writing video essays once a month ever. Um, and me just 
prattling. Doesn't seem like the most entertaining thing either. Um, but yeah. So, it's what it is. I just, I wish I had a full time job. I enjoyed. <laughs> there, that's it. <laughs> That's all I care about. Um, but, yeah. So, just fun things, just fun things. Uh, so. So, yeah, I just don't. I'm also just like in a weird part of my life where I feel like I need to have more figured out than I do but also I don't because <laughs> I'm like still basically a child like I only turned 24 in like two two three weeks here like I'm I don't even have that full frontal lobe you know but there are good things happening in my life I get to hang out with my friends soon by soon I mean my birthday <laughs> I do, well, I don't love the job I currently have. I like the people I work with, which is what makes it bearable. And then like all these things. So I just, I wish I got paid enough and the hours were better to where I didn't feel like I needed to get a new job immediately, but like I do. And like, just also the fact that I know when I needed it, they won't sponsor me because I, one, will not make enough money. So it's just kind of like, all these little things which is kind of like it sucks I like the people I wish it was easier to get jobs um, but also with the increase in how much it costs to get the new visa I have a sneaky suspicion that that is partially to like kind of kick people out of the country to get a better job market for the people in country because um, even people I've met who are like from the UK it has taken them over a hundred jobs, like 20 interviews in a year and a half to get hired as like capable people within their field. So it was just kind of like, I don't know, it's rough. It's all, it's all rough and like cost of living crisis on top of that. Really fun, really fun, um, but I'm fine. So it is what it is. Um, moving on to happier fields. Deciding what I'm going to do here. I'm kind of in between two main things I would come in and talk about. One of them is um, just like luxury fashion in general. Maybe doing more news-based things than like specific brand focuses, you know? Because there's so many people who already do lovely like little brand specific focuses that I don't really feel the need to like sit down and do that and write another essay that tells you the same thing. Um, whereas if I just give my opinion on what's happening, that's at least a little more personal to me, if that makes sense. And just like the brand histories. Um, um, my second option is doing something in the wedding sphere because I do love weddings um, and thinking about other people's weddings and looking at other people's weddings. Um, which is very fun. Um, so, could do both. It'd, it'd be a little odd to do both, just because, like, they're the same, but they're very different. So, it's just kind of, like, one of those things where it's kind of, like, mm, not sure. But we will, we will see is the answer. Um, ugh, I've got to stop this now. Stop this being my nails. Um, but, yeah, no, I just... Yeah, I just don't know. I'm in a weird spot with my life where I just don't know what I want to do. I also hit my wardrobe again, but like what's new? I can, can never seem to like any of the clothes I wear. So, um, yeah, those are all the fun bits for me. Um, yeah, I just, I already did all my dinner prep for tonight that I can do. Just in a really boring spot. I keep watching Agatha Christie uh, miniseries on the BBC to pass my day. Because I really have nothing else to do. 
I am so just like, cause this week I don't have, I didn't work at all this week cause they closed the store down to remodel. So I'm wondering if that's why they had to take our shift off um, Sunday, if they need that time to remodel now or not. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. I'm scheduled for four days next week, which will be good. Um, fun things. At some point, whenever I leave this job, I'll talk about it um, on here. And you can learn about luxury sample sales. Ooh, ah. Um, it's really actually not that exciting. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I am going to go now. I'll see you next time to talk about something. Um, but yeah. Okay, bye. Ugh, realizing that I start talking about like dedicated things, I might actually have to make my intros and outros a little nicer. Rude of me. Rude of me. We both know I won't. We, look at me. We know I won't.